Well, it's a very important project, of course, because it's linking uh, two very large uh, group of economies in the world. I mean, the, the, the East, Eastern Asia, Asia and, and Europe. And, um, and it's important because in, the, in, the, in between these two uh, large economic, uh, economic giants, uh, there's a number of countries that could benefit from, uh, from the trade development. So this is how it will affect the, the, the general economic landscape. Well, we expect, <laughs> we expect it will. I mean, that the, the whole subject is about um, uh, developing, uh, developing uh, uh, trade routes uh, which benefit each country because, uh, because they are on this route, but also uh, probably uh, benefit from the fact that they can leverage uh, their own uh, production, agricultural or industrial production. Uh, they, call, they, they can leverage their own logistics, uh, log logistics uh, industry uh, and, 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 and more broadly they can also uh, use this uh, BRI, uh, this initiative to, um, to develop the, 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 the transport infrastructure uh, that will ob obviously benefit the, 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 the domestic economies. So yeah, yeah the, it's not only about uh, linking China and Europe, it's also, as I said, before uh, developing and, and helping uh, the countries in between really to, 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 uh, to, to leverage as, as much as they can uh, the, the importance of the trade between the two, the two giants. I was answering the question during the, the, the panel session. Uh, this, um, uh, uh, there, 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 is, um, there is two, uh, uh, two big, um, two big um, uh, block of, of, uh, of project that could be developed. The first is, uh, is uh, physical, uh, the physical project, the infrastructure, uh, the operations, the logistic development, logistic platforms um, in one hand. Um, on, on the other end, there, is, there are projects which are less obviously um, uh, spectacular but, but very important and, and linking, uh, linking uh, the countries together through non-physical uh, elements like, like um, information technology, like uh, customs, uh, custom clearance processes, uh, like, uh, like uh, border crossing. So all these uh, the physical and non-physical bar barrier could, uh, could, uh, could uh, uh, become a significant project. On the physical barriers, on the physical elements, sorry, uh, you have um, uh, existing projects, existing, sorry, existing infrastructure uh, that could be upgraded and, um, and developed further. Uh, we're talking about increasing uh, the frequency on, 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 rail, on rail operation, for instance, which, we which would require upgrading the track or upgrading the systems. We're talking about increasing the, the port capacity, which is not building a new port, but building new GTs or, or new keys on the new platform on the, on the port. So these are upgrading of existing infrastructure. And then uh, in, a, in many cases, we're also talking about um, developing new infrastructure, brand new infrastructure. Of course, uh, very often this brand new infrastructure seems like, um, uh, like exciting projects, uh, but we have to take in mind that in the, in, at the end, someone has got to pay the cost. So if we want to lower the cost of transport, sometimes building new infrastructure is, is, is counterproductive because you have uh, additional costs actually to, 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 to integrate into the transport chain. So it's a, it's a sort of delicate balance between building new, new uh, infrastructure systems and, and just upgrading the, the existing one, which uh, more often than not actually existing and, 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 and good enough. But, but needs to be upgraded and also uh, more beyond all this, uh, you have to adapt uh, this uh, development in terms of infrastructure and in terms of non-physical uh, elements into a new way of thinking the business, the transport business. And I'm thinking there uh, that uh, we should also focus on the business model. Uh, very often in all these countries, there is no new or modern uh, business model Ad adapted to the transport system and that also should be looked at.